Good morning. Uh, yeah, uh, Pendle training still in full swing. Um, yeah, today's plan was uh, to do sort of half marathon distance, but uh, as you can see, it's a bit a bit wintry here. Um, it's been snowing all morning. It's now turned to sort of sleet. It's pretty wet, pretty grim, but it's a good chance to. Uh, test out some of the kit and uh, also a bit of the uh, old mental fortitude um, which is you know pretty much what gets you through uh, tough ultras uh, or tough races in general but um, yeah so probably now gonna try and do about two hours um, uh, yeah no kind of set route in mind I'm gonna head towards uh, the country park and, and do some sort of loops around there and try not to go too far from home in case I have to bail. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's going going all right. So last weekend was a double race weekend with all the towers 10k followed by um, the first race of the West Yorkshire Winter League. Uh, enjoyed both races. Um, obviously, completely different from each other. Um, Alton Towers 10k um, was sort of pretty lumpy. There was some really sort of short, sharp climbs. And I'm really pleased that I managed to uh, to run all of it. I had no time goal in mind. That's that I just wanted to be able to run all of it just to sort of get a bit of confidence back. Um, and I managed that, so I'm really happy with that. And then uh, Winter League on Sunday, running on tired legs. Um, quads were pretty sore from. Uh, running up all the mills on the Saturday and uh, yeah I got round I enjoyed it um, so a bit slower than I, than I would like but that just shows where I am fitness wise so yeah enjoying my running again which is lovely um, uh, yeah just carrying far too much weight which is making it easy so um, yeah I need to knuckle down and, and, and get on top of that so see y'all in a bit So uh, half an hour in, um, yeah it's pretty cold, um, my feet are like ice blocks, um, yeah definitely need to uh, dig the waterproof socks back out, um, so yeah the paths are pretty slushy now where it's uh, snowed and then sort of melted a bit and yeah it was pretty boggy from snow we had on Tuesday as well so um, yeah um, but yeah it's good. Um, just about to have a couple of precision hydration chews. Um, find these work really well on my stomach. Um, uh, textures wise, almost like um, Turkish Delight. Um, but I, I've got the mint and lemon ones, but they also do a, an unflavoured one as well, but prefer the, the flavour. Um, just sort of breaks up that um, flavour fatigue. Um, I also used a lot of the precision hydration gels which were unflavoured so it kind of gets a bit samey um, but yeah no um, enjoying it so far um, so, yeah come out of the country park and I'm heading towards uh, Opton Woods and I'm going to do a few hills in there and then and then head back home see you in a bit So I made it to Top at Woods, um, an hour in, so I'm going to head back for home um, go a different way, um, try out some different paths. Um, yeah, it's pretty tough going underfoot, very sludgy and slushy. Um, yeah, the snow has now turned to, to rain, um, which yeah, is making it um, pretty wet underfoot and yeah, feet are freezing. Um, Went with uh, Merino socks this morning and I should have gone with me uh, waterproofs but you know that's why we do these training runs to learn um, and yeah and if, if I'm in doubt in the future I'll just wear the uh, deck shells because I know that they're pretty bomb proof um, so yeah so doing an hour um, uh, 6k so pretty slow going um, but you know, it's just training, it's not, I'm not trying to kill myself. Um, 
So yeah, so about the same again to get home, so it'll be about two hours and maybe about 13k every time I get home, so yeah. See you in a bit. So here we are in a, a very uh, cold Georgia Country Park. Uh, uh, hour and 34, we've done 10 and a half kilometres. Um, yeah, walk a bit, jog a bit. Tried to uh, run most of it. I had a couple of little walks. I walked that climb uh, up Hopton Woods. Um, but yeah, the rest of it is just trying to just keep to a really slow jog. Um, yeah, just, just getting used to just uh, keeping running again. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. It's uh, like I say, it's certainly a test of uh, mental strength to uh, get out of doors when the weather's a bit grim, but you have to practice for conditions like this because you just don't know what it's going to be like race day. Um, so, race is coming up in December. As the second race of the West Sharks Winter League at Pudsey. Uh, that's the 1st of December. Um, I'm going to try and run there, um, do the course, and run back. Um, did that last year. I think it worked out about. 15 mile all in, um, the race is about 5 miles, it's about 5 mile each way. Uh, then the week after, um, open to do the Edale Skyline route um, with some some of the uh, Fartlek family. Uh, it's 20 mile with quite a bit of elevation. Um, and then the week after, we've got the Morsum area, which is uh, 21 mile, considerable amount of elevation again. Um, that's the race I did last year, and it just we just pissed it down all day, and it was just wet and boggy, and all paths were like streams. Year before it snowed, so we'll see what the uh, weather's like for this year's instalment. And then the day after is the second, third race of the Winter League, at, which is my own race at Dewsbury. Uh, which is a very hilly course. One of the climbs that I did today, that's that's the first climb on the route um, and it's tough and that's the easiest climb. There's three, three big ascents on it. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be um, a massive test on, on extremely tired legs after Morsum area. Um, and then the week after doing the Tour de Velvellen, uh, yeah, that's the race that I uh, did last year um, with a full spine pack and got timed out at the last checkpoint. I missed it by, I can't remember, 15, 20 minutes. Um, so going back this year for a bit of redemption and uh, fingers crossed we get we get round um, and managed to do the last 10 mile from... Uh, side farm back to Askham. Uh, yeah it's gonna be a tough race. A lot a lot of elevation on it. Um obviously it's the shortest day year shortest sat yeah shortest sat day of the year um that's its traditional date and then uh yeah so there's gonna be I'm gonna be doing uh, pretty much all of that section back from uh side farm in dark um let's say I think the cut off is R4 which is just about dark um, so yeah so I've got to move a bit faster than last year hopefully we'll do with sort of a lighter pack but I'm carrying a bit more weight than I was last year um, so it's going to be touch and go again but you don't get anywhere in life by not not making an attempt at it um, and yeah that, that's it then till till after Christmas and then yeah, in January is uh, another 
one or two winter league races. Um, the first one after Christmas is has uh, been cancelled. Stadium um, should have been doing it at Stars Hall. Unfortunately, the uh, building work started six months early, so the uh, can't access the site. Um, so yeah, so uh, I think we've got, got Ebden, Ebden 22, which I've done for the last two years, and and you get you make a decision um, up near Sully Pike as to whether to to do the extra seven mile to make it 22, or whether to do a mile and a half downhill back into uh, Marvin Road. And uh, for the last two years, I've. Uh, made the decision to uh, do the short route so we'll see if I can actually get around on the long route this time um, but yeah um, and then yeah it's just going to be just a case of just keep chipping away and just keep trying to do long runs and and uh, yeah just put in the, uh, the graft in for so that I'm as ready as I can be for the uh, Pendle Wayne day um, on the 1st of February see you in a bit Just shot two hours, now we're on 54, something like that. Um, about 12.7k, so I just shot about eight mile. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, good sort of test of my uh, mental strength getting out and and doing what I had planned uh, when the weather's pretty, pretty appalling, but yeah. Yeah, a few lessons learned, that's it. Uh, deck shell socks will uh, definitely be out next time the weather's a bit grim. Um, yeah, two hours is a pretty long time to have uh, cold feet. That's it, Less lessons learned. Um, yeah, good to get out and, uh, and do a longer effort. Um, yeah, just need to keep building on this now as we go forward. See you in a bit.